Last week I criticized uh, Finance und Wirtschaft, the Swiss finance newspaper, for an article where they said you should invest in value markets. I argued that value markets do not provide higher return than other markets. There's a second claim in that article. It said that the value strategy was successful in 2016 and for that reason you should focus on the value strategy in 2017. Is this true? It isn't. I'd like to show you. First, I'd like to confirm what was done correctly in the Finanz und Wirtschaft. I have here the performance of our top 10 lists. And as you know, we publish top, plan, top 10 lists for the value strategy too. And as a matter of fact, the value strategy top 10 stocks outperformed their indexes by an average of 8.6%. This means that in our 56 markets, the value strategy was better on average of 8.6% than the corresponding index. The growth strategy and the safety strategy were much worse. They were barely above zero, which means they still had a positive return. They were still better than the indexes, in indexes themselves, but not by much. The combined strategy had a return of about 3.1%. Now, this is a good sign. The value strategy did really work in 2016. We have the same result as the Finanz und Wirtschaft. But does that also mean it will work next year? Fortunately, at Obermott, we do the value strategy every year. We calculate uh, the performance of the value strategy each year and that, that means we can verify if a good performance in the value strategy in one year means a good performance in the subsequent year. And this is the result here. On the horizontal axis, we have plotted here the performance of the value strategy in one year from 2013 to 2015 in 50 markets which means we have about 150 data points. And then each data point has also a vertical dimension, which is its performance in the subsequent year. So on the vertical axis, we have the success of that same strategy in the year after. Now in a perfect world, you know, a bad performance of the value strategy in one year would mean a bad performance in the next year and a good would mean a good performance in one year and would mean a good performance in next year. In that respect, we would have all points around this horizontal, this diag diagonal axis that I have here. And you can already see from the graph, this is not the case at all. There is no uh, uh, vertical axis, uh, there's no di diagonal axis that uh, shows that, that the data point of one year would be a good prediction for the next year. As a matter of fact, we have only 4.9% reliability of this analysis, which means if you have a good value strategy in one year, you only have a 4.9% chance that this is a good uh, predictor for next year. In other words, um, you do not have to look at the value strategy of one year to determine if this is the right thing to do the next year. This is good news because you have less work. Now you might think, um, uh, why, this, why, why is this the case? You might question why this is the case. And very simple, I showed here, uh, another graph where we plotted the performance, absolute performance of the uh, different regions last year. And you can see that Latin America and North America performed the best. They had, have the highest blue bars because they have um, the best performing markets last year. And European markets were the worst performing markets last year. Now what happens to the value? You can see that in the orange bar and you can see that of course if a market performs very well the value goes down like in North and Latin America. And it's, this is a phenomenon at the stock exchange. Whenever you have a good performance of one strategy, so whenever it goes up it means there's a high, higher likelihood that it goes back down because its fundamentals are reversed. And because the stock market always goes like this, you know, whenever you see something work it means there's a higher risk that you're going to go into the other phase where it doesn't work anymore. Now, the good news about this is you don't have to worry about wor what works well. You have to develop a long-term strategy and you can stick with it and not care what the markets do at all. Good luck with your own investing.